Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll go back and highlight that at the end, what I already talked about. Um, Cause I can just add it at the end, even if it's just me on here. Um, so um, I'll make up a calendar for, for doing educational posts and whoever is able to jump in and help educate on live oily. And again, y'all, it's for me, feel free to copy anything that I put out there. Um, me too. I try to put graphics out there that are generic so that you, you know. Right. So anything that we put out there or if y'all post it, if you don't mind, copy it into your groups or if it's something you can share on your page, use it. You can't share from Live Oily because it's not a public group. On that note, as far as public groups, there is one public Facebook page. Monica has a public Facebook page. Is yours public, Denise? The like the business page because you have a business driven. page and you yeah. have a team page don't you those are pri yeah. are they private they're probably private okay monica has a public page only use it for classes and like occasionally like you know i'll do the seasonal postings it's got to be very compliant you know it's it's public your essential strength and y'all are welcome to drop people in there and we can copy and paste posts in there that are compliant. Um, we can educate in there as well for prospects. So if you have prospects that you want to drop in a group, put them in your essential strength. So if y'all want to write that down, if you are not a member of that page, we can add you to that page. It's your essential what did you strength. Say that again. What did you say it was called? Your, your essential strength. And that's Monica's, it's a public page and we use it to promote classes and events out of there. Um, I now have to send share into a public group so I can make them off of Live Oily. Um, but sometimes we're promoting out of hers for the business, for the prospects. So um, again, I don't want to start a bunch of other pages. I'm trying to utilize what our team already has and work together. So if you have prospects, you can drop them in your essential strengths. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to write down before I forget, <laughs> hold on, I've got to grab a pen. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a calendar for, um, education in Live Oily. And then, like, we'll be able to go into the calendar in Live Oily and sign up, like, is it going to be, like, fillable? Yeah, I'll make a fillable calendar so we can all see who's doing what. I'll make it so it's either a Google Doc or something that we can change. So I'll, I'll let everybody, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to also, we're going to work on the ER incentive for October and get that up. Um, I was going to say, I think the, the incentive for ER needs to be end of year. It's going to be from October to December. Through just, yeah, the, the three, three month months. Challenge. Yeah, for the three month challenge, yeah. Um, and it falls around Christmas time, so that's yeah, that's good too. right, right. The holiday catalog should be coming out about then, too. Yeah, yeah, it usually comes out in October, so we should be seeing it in our orders in October. Um, usually it comes out. The other thing to think about, y'all, that uh, you in without getting caught, you know, how they do these sales, these flash sales, and it's last minute. I mean, remember that we're going to have um, like Black Friday and like what are some of the other ones you know are going to pop up? Black like, Friday and Monday. What are they? Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. They always run. So think about your graphics. Think about what you've done from last year. If you don't have anything from last year and you want to see me, we can post some stuff that we did. I don't know. Like you got, you kind of got to wait on what like Tino for graphics out there and stuff. But just be thinking about who you've been talking to, make a list of prospects, people you've been talking to, and be ready to follow up with those people when these sales pop up. Okay. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about is everybody, everybody in here on Marco Polo. Oh, dear Lord, please be. Yes. Okay. Do you have the Marco Polo app, Chris? I don't. Okay. I'll send you, tell me, I don't know if I have your cell number on my phone. What's your cell number? It's 865. Okay. 
Three, three. Three, three. Okay. Um, now the third has the number. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to utilize, Marco Polo is such an incredible way to communicate. And I've used it some with our builders, but I really want to encourage y'all to use it because I don't have to make a phone call to you. You don't have to make a phone call to me. But what it is, is it's a voice app. So you could do a video voice of yourself to me and then I can pick it up when I'm able to, or if I do one to the whole group, um, you can do it individually to me. We also have a diamonds rising group. I can do it there and post it there and you can go back and look at any of them. And they've added so many features to it now that we can title them. So if I'm doing education in there, I can title it and you can know what's in there. I can put links in there. It is a crazy, incredible app. And um, that's one of the things that Jackie Calvert talked about because she's been very active in um, working with the Marco Polo, the people who created it. And her and Tina don't even call each other. They just use Marco Polo all the time. <laughs> they just, instead of calling each other, they just Marco Polo each other back and forth instead of just being on the phone with it's each other. It's a video walkie-talkie. Yeah, it's just kind of a great, yeah, it's a video walkie-talkie. If you need to ask a question and maybe I'm not able to, you know, if it's say you're talking to me, I'm not able to answer you right away, we can message, but sometimes it's nice to do a face-to-face -face where you can see the person. Um, so I'm trying to encourage all the builders to get on the Marco Polo. So I'll send you a link for it so you can download the app and then you'll I'll add you into the Diamonds Rising group. So I'm trying to get all the builders on it so that I can use that more. I do use the messaging, but I think it's nicer for y'all to see a face sometimes. <laughs> or if I need to show you something, I can show you that or share my screen on there. So instead of, here's a link, you know, <laughs> I can do it that way. Right, and I haven't done it yet, but I think if you've done it yet, where you can, like you could, if you wanted to video something on Facebook or, or Instagram, you can video it in there, save it, and then post it. Yeah, I think you can. I haven't done that either. There's so many features to it I haven't even learned yet um, that Jackie was talking about, but it's just become a huge app that we could use more readily with our builders. So um, I'm trying to get everybody in on that. Who's hopping in right now? Let's see. Who's hopping in? Me, Susan. Uh, hey, Susan, girl. hey. Chris is on here. Hey. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, so I was just telling everybody I'm encouraging the builders to get on Marco Polo and I just told Chris I would send her the invite for it. Okay. Um, so I have her cell number to do that. Um, the next thing, okay, and we've talked about project broadcast before. I'm getting, I'm slowly adding in finishing taxes this week. And the next thing I'm doing, I promise, is getting the intro class up for prospects so that y'all can start getting your prospects to drop into that class. Carissa, for you, if you don't understand, you may not understand Project Broadcast, but it, I have a separate phone number for that, which you saw when it came through tonight. That's my separate Project Broadcast number. Hold on, I gotta respond to this person. Um, so, what, what you'll be able to do is give out you'll be able to tell them to text intro to that number if you have a prospect that wants to go through the intro class via text. So I'm going to get that up so that y'all can start using it with your prospects as soon as I get my taxes turned in this week. I promise. I have to focus on taxes. <laughs> I'm on deadline. And then Denise, I'm doing your Ningxia class. That's the next one, which shouldn't be that difficult because it ties into the intro too. So once I get the intro, that should be pretty much ready to go and we'll have the Ningxia one done as well. Um, so in there that you can text to no the only classes I have in the only class I have in there right now is the um, get out of the box class okay. which I am sending out to new members as soon as they become a member under me which is anybody under me um, as soon as they become a member, I'm sending that to them. So if, if you, they don't want to, I give an introduction of me and who I am and our team. Um, and I try to say we and everything I do so that they know this is from the team, not just me. And so I do send that out. If you have a new member that signs up, I'll send out my intro. 
and then I will send out, um, they can text back if they want to go into that now what class. They can text back, I forget what it's called, now what or something, and it'll drop them in that class for getting out of the box. So if they can't attend now what class via Zoom or via um, coming live, then they can do it via text to get out of the box. So um, I'm trying to get all that. I'm, I've got it down now, so I'm trying to use it more and more. So I promise classes are the next thing on my list to get finished. So we, we appreciate can utilize that. More. Sharing it with <laughs> <laughs> so it is a subscription thing. And so I, I y'all do not, until you get a big enough team, it's not worth y'all getting. So you might as well use mine. And Carrie, if we can figure out getting your people into it, you know, I'm glad to do that. And we'll work it with your people too. <laughs> um, let's see. The other thing is I sent an email, but I'm not sure. Did any of y'all get an email that shared the Google Drive with you? A Young Living Google Drive? No? Okay. No. Okay. I've shared it and I've added some of y'all who are builders, but I can share my Google Drive that has all my graphics and that kind of stuff so that y'all can get in there and post, you know, pull those graphics um, if for classes and things like that. So um, I was in my drive tonight on my phone and I was like, okay, this isn't totally organized like I want it. So I got to do a little bit of organization, but I'll resend the email on that and work on that so that y'all can get to the Google Drive. I'm sharing it with all the builders. So if you've never used Google Drive, it is so simple. If you have a Gmail yeah. account, it's very easy to, to get, you have a Google Drive. All you have to do is tap the little tiles. Um, but I'll work it so that y'all can, you should be able to see it. And I'll, tr I'll try to name it Joyful Hustle so you'll know that's my drive in case you're sharing, use, going to Tina's drive. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. Tina's is co-op. Um, email drive link. Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Your member was the one asking about gift bags, but she's not on here. Right? I think you and I were talking about the idea. Of okay. It. Um, yeah, somebody's asking, was it? It was, it was Medina. Okay. Yeah, Medina thought she might be on here tonight, but she's not. I don't know if I have one up here. Um, most of y'all are pretty, I don't know if you've done, had any new members, Chris, or not right now, but I'm just going to, for the recording sake, um, we've had a couple of people who are new builders asking about what we give when you have a new member, um, what do you give to them. And um, I choose not, I don't, some people gift an EOPR. I have done that before, but I have chosen to not do that because I think it's overwhelming sometimes to give somebody an EOPR right off the bat. So, hold on, I'm looking to see if I have one up here. I think it's in. Talk a minute. <laughs> Tell them what you put in your I typically put, um, I, I get a key. Do you all know what an oil key is? Does anybody not know what an oil key is? Uh, Raise your hand if you don't. Here, let me, let me get one and I'll show it to everybody. Okay. <laughs> Enlighten me. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. But um, an oil key I got like there. Thank you very much, Carrie. Um, that is an oil key. Do you have one of those, Carissa? No. That is like you want to get one, and you can get them on Amazon.com. What it does when you are opening up your bottle, the um filament that's on your roller. I'm trying to get one to come out of this bag. Um, it keeps the roller from falling out of your, oh, Carrie, Carrie, look at you go, just showing everybody that's perfect. That, uh, Let me do a roller ball because those ones are trickier. Yeah, and if you try to press your roller ball um, in with your fingers, it would fall, and that's why when they pop out. But if you use that, um, what's that, Carrie? Ta-da, thieves. Oh, yes. And then with the Young Living um, bottle cap, you just got to use the cap to press it off, but she's going to show you how to use the gadget with it. 
So oh. either way, with Young Living's caps, you can use your lid to wiggle it off. Before you That's can what I'm use your lid. The roller, the roller bottles are a little bit trickier, so they're that lifted off. And then when you go to push it back on, you want to use the size that doesn't press down on the actual ball. You want to press down on the rim around the ball. Let me see if I can do this in the air. <laughs> so I usually do it on the tabletop. But you want to wait and listen for the snap and then look around the edge to make sure it's all the way on so you don't leak your oil out the side. But that just pushes. So now that my oil is all the way in, so you can see there that I'm on the rim around the ball. I'm not on the ball itself. Yeah. Those are the things that that key will save your, your balls from falling out of the, the whatever's holding it in. I don't know what you call that part. But, um, you know, it, it'll save your equipment from falling apart. And um, it's also, I mean, oh my gosh, when you, some of the lids are so tight that you need it, you can't do it without it. Yes. So, um, you, so. you can order those on Amazon really inexpensively. Yeah, I got a pack of 10 for like a couple bucks. I will put that link into Diamonds Rising. I'll, I'll find that and put that in there so y'all can see it. But I got like a pack of 10. I include that in my, in my gift bag. Christy has grabbed a, a purple bag. So, um, you know, those uh, purple bags you hear Sarah Harness talk about. If you've read Game Plan, you've heard purple bag. I just ordered them on Amazon. Yep. Um, I think these are the five by sevens because the first ones she talked about were too small. Right. Um, <laughs> so I think, I think I had to buy six by nines in order to fit. Yeah, maybe six by nines because I wanted to be able to put, I put the fearless look in there. Yeah. Um, which I'm about out of and need to make an order. So if anybody needs these, you will be able to get more from me because I have to do a big order to get them the right price. for a dollar. So yeah. I need to order some more of these because we're about out. I'll take them. So if anybody wants to put in your order for them, let me know because I will order them. How many you want, yeah. Um, I also put, this is what comes from LSP. This is the small <laughs> reference book. The It's called the quick reference tool. And so I ordered these off of LSP and I'll put them in there because the other one to me, very overwhelming sometimes starting out. And so I'll let them buy that if they want to. Um, and I keep those in stock for 11. They're, the new ones I think are $12. I think for the year. They have the new color ones. I think they're 12, either uh, maybe twelve ninety five, maybe 13. I can't remember, but we get them at the preferred price, whatever they are. And I try to order at the 20% off. I typically sell them at whatever the preferred price is just because it's too hard for me to remember when I got them. Um, but I do keep them in stock. These are like two or three dollars, I think. I can't remember. But so these we order off LSP and I just stick that in there with a fearless, which the fearless are about a dollar fifteen by the time I order them and we split it all up with the shoe. Um, and then I just had these magnets, so I stuck them in there. I have some little things I've gotten at different places and I just stuck it in there. So it's, this is not a necessity. It has the different body systems and what oils are good for that system. Um, but it's just something I've had and I'm just using them up. So again, you can do other little things that you wanna do. I also usually put a 10 mil roller and a five mil roller. Some people will get capsules empty capsules and put a little baggie of capsules in there for people. So it's just a very, I try not to do something that you all can't, can't do great. I try to keep it very simple. Um, I just keep, keep these enough of these on hand just to have. So if I have a new member, I can hand them out. So, um, and there's no, there's no hard and fast rule about no. it. I think it's a, the gift bag is more about, what giving them something to see how they can get in their box and use it you know like how you can diy with your roller and you know take a couple drops of this and that and then use your carrier and just get active in your kit and use it and stop being afraid of, of using it that's really what it's about you know um and that that bag can vary depending on what it is and if you're like me i've always been doing this on a budget and you know, I do the thrifty things like I have a Discover card, I pay my my bills on it, and then I use the credit for paying my bills to get my oily stuff. I very rarely pay anything for these things I put in these bags. 
I use the credit for my Discover card to go onto Amazon and use that to get the, the bottles and things that I give to people. So you can do things like that to save on doing these gift bags. Um, something else to, to think about putting with it. The Fearless book, there's a free printable calendar that goes with it. So it gives them a task to do each day. Oh, I, I forgot she oh, put that out. Right. You can print that out, right? Yeah, it's, it's for free, right? It's downloadable at oilabilityteam.com. Yes. So you could even even either give them a copy of that or tell them how to find it right. in your hat. And I just saw um, in the Facebook group, YL Hacks, somebody was saying, what in the world do I do with all these empty Ningxia bottles when I'm done drinking it? Uh -huh. And that's a situation around our house. And one, yeah. of the, one of the suggestions was to give that to a new member so that they have a bottle to put diffuser water in next to their diffuser. They have a nice, pretty Ningxia bottle to be able oh, to refill their diffuser. That is a great hack. Denise, you've got lots of those. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Erin will like that. <laughs> now you know what to do with them. Give them to a new member and put diffuser water in. You yeah, you can actually throw a couple drops of something in it and so it'll smell nice when they open it. I was gonna say, we, we have, done like infused water mm -hmm. and to put in the fridge and use those bottles as well just that's for sweet. drinking yeah, we, took, we took empty bottles this week and filled them up with drinking water and had them ready to go in case we needed yeah that's a great idea yeah. we're gonna have a flood <laughs> <laughs> so okay i think i've covered the main the other thing i wanted to cover is this book I think, Denise, you have this. Susan has it. It's the Propel book. I have it with me. Carrie has it. Um, Carissa, this is a new um, business builder book, and it is much more interactive, and Denise has been kind of going through it, so maybe you should talk about it more than me, Denise. I haven't started into it yet. <laughs> yeah, it basically has... Um, it takes you on a journey. <laughs> of um getting to know the company and um and also like how to become a better leader and how to build the culture of your team and, and she talks about a lot of things but then when she talks about the ipas that's uh my favorite part of it because she has a lot of practical things that you can do every day like you and schedule your own posts on social media if you're doing that and you can she gives you ideas even uh, on what to post about um she she gives you a lot of scripts to like talk to prospects like what it what it is uh, specifically what to tell them in the message as you are sharing with them about essential oils to not sound salesy or things like that um it's just a lot of good things to put in practice today as opposed to you know studying compensation plan which is important but doesn't necessarily uh produce it's not an income producing activity but per se right. yeah and it's not very thick it's about 10 chapters from what i understand um, I, again, I haven't started into it, but I'd like to do either a zoom call. I don't know, do start a group. That's just those people who want to walk through it just for accountability where we can have discussion and maybe we do, we can decide if it's going to be two chapters a week, one chapter a week, one chapter a day, however y'all want to do it. We could do a Marco Polo. I do have more of these left, Chris, if you want any. They're $18 and I would have to ship it to you at the media price. I think it's $22 or something when I ship it because I had to ship it to somebody else. Um, normally, if you buy it yourself, it's like $25 plus like $10 shipping for one book. <laughs> so we, we bought them at a very... Um, we got them in a bulk price. Tina fronted them and I have one extra one here and she has more in Alabama. So, um, if you want to go through this with us and do it, it is, 
everybody who's gone through it, Erin Rogers was at our retreat, the leadership retreat that I went to, and she talked about it, and their team had done it, and she did like Monday to Thursday, Monday to Thursday, and they went through Monday to Thursday, Monday to Thursday, Monday, Tuesday to get through the 10 chapters, and they just did it as a Facebook group just to mainly have a little bit of discussion on it. There's a lot of just really writing and kind of you, like you said, kind of working your own culture into it really thinking through some things so that you can move forward with your business. Um, so it's not as much reading like game plan as it is interactive kind of working through some things and doing the work. So that's the one thing everybody said they like about it. And Nicole Perez is the one who wrote it. And if you haven't heard her speak, um, she's a blue through and through and wants things to be fun. So that's why the color of the book and she's tried to make it very fun. So it's not just another book that you're reading. <laughs> so, um, so any thoughts or ideas on going through this? Um, and I'm open to whatever, cause I want to get through it and I know I do better with accountability. So, so y'all watching this and recording, say your comments and diamonds rising. Yes, um, anybody watching the recording, I'm going to put it up on a link. So, and so do you guys, what do you guys think? Do you think we should do a Marco Polo? Do you think we should do a Facebook group? What? Um, so, yeah. yeah, sorry, it, it told me that I was not in the meeting anymore. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, yes, I would love to do it. Um, I'm not sure if I could do a chapter a week, honestly, right now with all my school requirements. Um, but I want to do it. You know what, Susan? I, I don't think there's one game plan I've ever completed. <laughs> you, you get in there, you do what you can, you read what you can, you glean what you can, you apply what you can, and you do it with okay. them. Okay. You know, that you just do okay. what you can, you move forward so that something's happening, you know? And for those of yeah. us who are still in summer hustle if we want to wait and start this in October. <laughs> Carrie, she's like, oh my God. I just, Thank you. I, I, Thank honestly, you. <laughs> I got so overwhelmed with summer hustle. I basically, I, I'm still officially part of the group, but I've dropped off. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was too much too fast. And I couldn't process it. And so instead of beating myself up for not being able to keep up by just you know, it's there and I'll get to it in my time frame. Yes. <laughs> I'm not caught up either, so welcome. Amen. To I'm the same but, way. Same way. <laughs> I, I, I will say that this Propel book is a whole lot easier to go through than anything else that I've done so far. And I've done game plan and most of the workbook in the first edition. Um, no, girl. <laughs> but like for, for instance, the first chapter is about Young Living the Company, and it's pages nine to fifteen, and it's okay. you know it's like it's like learning what is rounding up when you order, and what is seed to seal, and put seed to seal in your own words. What do you what do you find most valuable of seed to seal? Um, so it's a little bit easier to yeah. Digest. It's, it's it's got a whole page on. Um, here are some of the chemicals that are harmful that are in products that you might buy at the store. So, it, you know, it's just, it's some basic learning, some like really short sentence answers on your part. Um, and I need, like, for instance, they're like, okay, so talking about competitors and what Gary Young said about oils and I need to find the exact quote. I just wrote in my notes, get quote. I have never made an oil for profit. I need to get the exact quote of what Gary said about that. So just small, small baby steps, really easy to go through. Awesome. So I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm interested. I'm interested in this book. <laughs> <laughs> She's like baby steps. <laughs> baby yeah. steps. Yeah. That's right. right. I, when it came out, I was really excited about it. Well, and like I, I try really hard to read the material that Susan has given me, and it's like I'm going good, and then it's like, like whoops. Oh, she's talking. Oh, okay, are you? Okay, keep talking. Okay, um, 
I was just saying, like, life gets really crazy, but I've tried really hard to read all the stuff I've been given, and it's like, I'm just like a fountain of knowledge. So if somebody asks me a question, I can give them a bunch of stuff that I might not necessarily, like, instigate a conversation about, you know, the stuff. But, like, I have friends who use, use it, and I was like, do you use it like this? Or what about, and they were like, no one's ever told us about that. And I said, well, that's why you should have signed up under me. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't know they didn't understand so they're like i know we're sorry oh, Lord. <laughs> because i'll help you learn all that <laughs> but i think that's part of this book is it does give you script um and things mm -hmm. to say and it's helpful in that regard and it's like the baby step more baby step and not so much reading that you're having to digest tons and tons and tons of stuff so um susan i did mute you because i could hear a lot i'm going to unmute you in case you need to talk <laughs> i did i did the first three lessons in probably an hour and a half i just kind of sat down and worked on them and got to the point where oh now i'm a little stuck and this is going to require more brain power so <laughs> do that another time oh gee yeah i guess we've got an oil for that too to do that but yeah that works actually i usually reach for valor <laughs> yeah so what do y'all want to wait to start this till october well let's let's yeah. make sure that we get it in everybody's hands okay yeah i've got most of my main builders have it chris i know you don't so if you want me to send it to you i can <laughs> And I can I can mail it and you can just PayPal me. I can tell you the total with shipping. And anybody watching the video that wants it that doesn't have it yet. Yeah, let me know because I can get it through Tina and um, we can she can ship the other ones um, out from there because she still has I think she still has about fifteen down there. And we could do like what do you think, you guys? We do a Facebook group and do a Marco Polo associated to it. That sounds good. The Facebook would yeah. give us more opportunity to share comments back and forth. Yeah, yeah, and every yeah. Yeah, it would. Okay. So we'll plan to start this in October. So if you have any other builders who want to go through it that need the book or anybody listening on the recording, um, we will get those in all the hands so that we can start in October and we can kind of figure out timing on that. Um I don't know if I have anything else. Um, I just heard this was the other thing that came up recently. Um, I'm trying to watch more on oily tools. I think Susan has oily tools. Carrie, you've got it. Denise, you have it. Um, if you are on my team, I can see everybody ordering under me. Like I can't see your specific orders in oily tools, but I can see when people place ER orders, I can see what their ER order, order amount is. And every now and then we'll have people pop up. And I just want to say this is a reminder for anybody watching the recording. If you have a builder and if you're checking your VO or if you have somebody who's ordering on ER and they are going to order um, $600 worth, they may want to split it into a quick order and an ER order to get, if, they, if they're going to spend more than 300 and it's going to reach 190, then they're going to want to do a quick order because then they get the promos twice. That starts at yeah. 190 with a quick order. So I just want to remind everybody about that, which again, that's education that we can put when we're talking about ER in October, November, and December is educating people on that because we occasionally are seeing people who are ordering and could have gotten double promo if they'd split into a quick order. So, um, and that's, that's where the while go plus really comes in handy because you can get yeah. both those orders with free shipping. Right. Right, and I rarely do that. Um, I don't know if I've done that yet because I'm still watching the pennies, but there are people who are doing that. And so we just wanna be watching that because we're seeing some of that um, where we don't want people to miss out on the extra free promos if they're gonna hit 190, you know, pay, do 300 on an ER and then hit 190 or more on, an, on a quick order. So y'all, the past couple of years, Sacred frankincense or frankincense has been one of the free oils. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like waiting on that, waiting on it's it. It's usually around <laughs> November or December they throw that one out there. For so Christmas. 
<laughs> Sometimes people want to hit that twice. <laughs> they can afford to do it. Jesus so, oil coming up. <laughs> so just a reminder on splitting orders and watching that. But I do. I am trying to watch that. I'm trying to watch on my oily tools. If I see people who are getting close, you know, they do an ER order and they're close to their um, hitting a promo, and I may not have caught it this time, but I may let I may let a builder know or the person you know above them, or if it's a, somebody that doesn't have a builder above them, I'll contact them to let them know, hey. You could have gotten, you were $20 from reaching a promo, you know, so that we're watching that. So I'm trying to really watch that more. Um, and I can do some of that more with Project Broadcast when I, I can import um, and send out, have automatic messages that'll go out when that happens too. So I'm trying to watch that. Oh, on the matter of Project Broadcast, when you're signing somebody up, if they have a cell phone, Please have them sign up with a cell phone because I can't use Project Broadcast unless they have a cell phone. So if they have a, a regular phone line, Project Broadcast, you obviously can't text. And so every time I import the team, it brings in the phone number tied to that account. Mm -hmm. So if they have a cell phone and they tell them that your upline, Christy Ramsey, has a texting service, Please let them know that we have a texting service, which is for education, for letting them know about promos that are coming out, but I am not trying to overuse it. They can get into classes that way. I am really trying not to like send so much out to people. And I haven't sent, I didn't send out this last 10% off promo because I was so tied up in taxes. Honestly, that's why I haven't done it, but I think I'm going to have something ready to go out in the morning just to remind everybody today's the last day. day. If you or anybody you know is interested in signing up, so I'm going to send something out to everybody on that I have in my project broadcast and new members from this month. But I need they need to sign up with a cell phone number. So try to encourage people to put their cell phone numbers in the VO when signing up, and not their need, landlines. For the most part, they're going to opt into anything they want on it. They'll get like the initial message, the welcome message, and special message messages, which are periodic but the classes they opt into. Right, I'm not, I'm not gonna just shoot out a bunch of stuff to them. They can opt in to education. They can opt in, you know, to certain things. If they, I don't say on there, stop, if you don't wanna receive text messages, but if somebody sends me back something that says stop, or I don't want any more messages, I contact their upline. Um, so if it's Monica and she has a member who says to me, I don't wanna get any more message from you, most of the time they don't understand what it is. And I'll tell Monica, hey, so-and-so said they didn't want to receive any messages. Can you contact them, explain to them what it is? So I'm trying to encourage builders to go ahead and let your new members know that this is a part of what our community is. Our resource. It's one of our resources. So it's part of the community and it's the texting service, but it is not going to be an overwhelming thing. And there are some people who absolutely don't want to be in it, and that's fine. And I can, arc, you know, I can mark them as do not message, and you can tell me that or they can text back stop when they get the initial message if they don't want it. But I don't ever say text back stop because then all of a sudden people get in their eye, their mind, hey, I can stop, you know. But most people who don't want it will do that because they know it'll stop it. <laughs> so, um, but I just wanted to put that out there to encourage y'all on that. Um, for this month and Classes for this month, which have not been a ton because, again, I'm in tax deadline. Um, let's see. What did we put down? We put down savvy live here uh, September. We have, we're doing an intro this Friday. This, this Friday or this weekend. If anybody has prospects, I'm going to set up the group. You can drop them into the group, but you need to invite them. Like, call them, invite them, let them know. It'll be set up in Live Oily, and I will put you as a, uh, all my builders. I always invite them to that group, so you can put people in it for the intro class. I cannot be on the class that night because that's homecoming at my high school, but I will have it sent, shared, ready to go. So it'll be ready to go if y'all are in there, you know, <laughs> talking. And it, there will be um, the invite is, but the invite, like. Okay. So the invite, this is where essential, your essential strength comes in. There's an invite in that group that you can go in, take the invite, and share it on your page. 
when somebody says that they're interested, you know how if, I don't know if you know this, on Facebook, if somebody says interested, they won't get any information about a class unless they say going. So that's one of the problems with that, if people don't understand that culture of that of an event. Okay, so mm -hmm. Christy's creating a group, which is what she needs to do to share the information in Live Oily. So when your member or your guest or your prospect says, yes, I want to go, or they say, I'm interested, or they say going on the event, or to you personally in a text or whatever, you then add them to the group and live oily. So the, the invite on um, your essential strength is just a tool. It's just a picture location. I could put a post in it. And if they say going, they'll get information about it. But what we find is when people say interested, they're not going to receive information. So they just never hear about it again when they say that. But when you put them in the group and live oily and we advertise and live oily, they will see that in their feed. Well, it's a public group is what it is. It's made off of live oily, but it's a public group. And again, I have to do a group in order to send share shit to it. So I don't have to post on it live because <laughs> posting yeah. live an event like that is ridiculously crazy. Um, I feel like all I do is sit there and hit post, post. <laughs> Right. And then the other thing is, too, is then you can be in there over the weekend. Your guests will have from Friday till Monday to get in there. The class, when you're selling people, the class only lasts about an hour, but they'll have all weekend to hop in there and do it when they can. And then as long people will uh, be up for prizes, if you have a guest that comes, then each person is responsible for their own guests. I, I'm taking care of my team. So you make the decision about what you're doing about that. I'm doing uh, gifts for my team of people. If they have guests, so Denise, if you have a guest, then they're going to be in the drawing and I'm going to take care of the prizes for people in, in our team. And what, just so you know, I do have a form and if they fill it out, the form at the end, like Carrie Yamashita was the only one on last month's class that had somebody that filled out the form on the end. So they want and really that commented that was not already a member. Um, so I called Carrie and I said, Carrie, your member is your prospect was the only one who filled it out. Do you want to go ahead and give them a prize? Because they're the one who won the prize. So, <laughs> so Carrie took care of her member. Yep. So I put them in, I'll do a drawing off of, if we have 20 people fill out the form at the end, it's coming to me, Google, um, and I will do a drawing and if it's your member i'll call you and say hey denise it's your one of your member you one of your prospects because it asked them specifically for their information all their address phone number it even asked if they're interested in coming to another class uh, it's a detailed form if you haven't looked at it i did it more like the game plan form denise this time so it's not just a little bit of information so that if they want more information i can tell you that oh. carrie knew when i called her that her member she was already getting ready to meet with her within two days. Yes. Um, and so it was great that she'd already gone through the class. But if you've not really talked with that prospect and you put them in that class, I'm gathering information on them. So if you don't have all their phone number, address, that kind of stuff, it's gathering it in that form. And we're trying to encourage them to fill out that form. So, um, Carrie, did they become a member? She <laughs> Her reactive, she was a member three years ago and went inactive and her reactivation is pending her starter kit. So we ran out of time tonight before she had to pick up her daughter from dance, but she is ordering a new starter kit with Desert Mist Diffuser. Awesome diffuser choice. Can we have, can we and, have an audio high five? <laughs> and <laughs> she's signing up with ER because she really wanted brain power. And I'm like, look, 90 points. 66 points you're already at 150 right now another 40 points will get you the 190 bonus and i showed her and i'm like you know here's this inner defense and now's a great time to try it i'm like you're gonna get more than 50 dollars worth of products free for spending another 50 dollars so she's looking at hitting her 190 right now on the phone with customer care representatives and she's getting her kit at sale price and yeah she's ready to go on ear she's got she's got a whole list she's got about a thousand dollars worth of stuff on her list i'm like you know what we're gonna break that off into small bites month by month by month. er yep, yep that's exactly awesome. it she's signing up for the er awesome susan yeah, has awesome. one new member 
Susan got one new member this weekend, right? I did. Yay! I did. Yay! High five! High five! Yeah, high five your your phone. <laughs> <laughs> and she has Yay. one. I have one. Go ahead. Yeah, I've got one more that's probably. I've got to call her. She probably just got her kids in bed. I've got to call her. She did not see my next post that said that everything was extended through tomorrow. And she is in this kind of same situation with a member has not bought anything in more than two years. So we've got to call in to get her reinstated and she wants the whole kit. So I told her we've got through tomorrow night. In fact, it was her husband that reminded her Sunday morning at church. Hey, remember that we, you wanted to get a new kit? And she's like, no, it's not over with. I was like, no, it's not over with. You can still order. So, but y'all also need to look at the, at the fact that if you want to buy a flip kit, yep. this is the an awesome time to do that. My daughter did that. Now she, she's trying to build, but she just started as a school teacher. So it's really hard, but she decided she wanted to buy a kit just for her classroom so she could leave her kit at school, the whole thing, just everything that you get. But she decided to get that rainstone diffuser. And so let me tell y'all that rainstone diffuser by itself is like a hundred and eighty dollars just the diffuser so she went ahead and bought the whole kit everything <clears throat> with the rainstone diffuser and she ended up only paying with tax and shipping it came to 213 so that's really an incredible deal she really got the diffuser it's not quite free when you think about it but still it was such a better deal because she wants a new diffuser anyway and she'll leave the nice diffuser at home and take the the little rose diffuser she's got to school, but this is a, a great time to get a flip kit. Yeah, the, the rainstone get a is the best deal, I think, in terms of the value of the diffuser and the kit value. Like, uh, yeah, right down. yeah, yeah. I got I signed Dave, David up, y'all, for the $144 for a new baby. Yay! Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> David, so, got my, husband. <laughs> my husband Daryl did the Ningxia kit last month. Yeah, yeah. Something we drink like crazy around here. So we got a couple new members going. Um, the other class she was mentioning was on 925. We're gonna have a savvy class and I'll do it again by Zoom and live. So if you want, you can't do the makeup sampling, obviously, if you're not here at my house live, but I will teach it online, which I did last time so that people could go through the class and I shared my screen. Um, so I will do that again on 925. Um, and then, um, that's the only ones we really scheduled for this month. I'm going to go ahead and start looking at October and get dates down. Um, we got 10, 9, 3, now what? Um, oh yeah. Now what? We're having a class. Uh, now what class? So if you have new members who've never been through that, I will teach it by zoom and live. Um, Carissa, have you done a now what class? No, she's not. Okay. No, I, I don't think you have to listen. <laughs> Does she have the materials? Um, probably not. Okay. What is the material? <laughs> <laughs> um, the material is, it's in a, I have it in like a little photo album and it's, um, we, you need to get that in your hand. Um, <laughs> we need to get it to you. I'll mail it with your book. With your book. Okay. Um, Great. But it's, I have it all in there and I teach off of that um, on my Now What Zoom class. So if you have new members, I'm trying to do one a month. And so if they can't come live, we can mail the materials to them um, so that they can do it via Zoom like this and be a part of the class. And I um, will go through the book and the materials. Um, it's in like a little book along the book is most of the materials and a couple of them. Um, so Anyway, we're going to do that on 10-9. So if any of y'all have members you need materials mailed to, let me know. Um, and I, the only thing on that is I ask that members, um, if you have members that you pay for the materials to mail them to them, um, I think it's, I don't know. Is it eight dollars to mail it? It's like, yeah, the stuff is five dollars and the mailing is about okay. three. So it's eight bucks to mail it. It's about $5 for the class, for the class materials. So I ask that either your members pay that or y'all help by gifting that to them to get them into the class. 
Um, I do mail it to all of my people out of town, regardless of whether they come to a class or not, because they have it. it is so much material that you kind of sort of go over in an intro class, but you forget how much people don't know. And I created this class myself because there's so much that you, you forget, you take for granted that we know it goes over the seed to seal. It goes over the, um, safety and using the oils. Um, it gives them diffuser um recipes and rollerball recipes um goes into supplements and other products that we have so that they're realizing we have more than just oils so there's it talks about ningxia and thieves so it has a lot of good information that you wouldn't get um and you there are other things out on lsp but i guess i just i haven't started using anything off lsp because i really like what i have because i feel like it just gives it to them in a written format but I'm open to changing it if y'all want to change it. But anyway, this is how I've been teaching it because there wasn't anything out when I started and I created it because nobody gave me this secondary class. And so that's why I teach it the way I teach it. Um, so that's on 10 nine. And I think that's all the classes we have right now. Well, I mean, I, we had some ideas. And I, oh, okay. If you wanted to, if you want to kind of, it was matching kind of like what we had this month. Okay. If we were to do, I don't know if y'all think about this, but just do another savvy on the 23rd, which would be the October 23rd, October 23rd here. The business meeting, of course, is the 15th of October. I was thinking because the 30th, 31st, like if you do a one-on-one like here where we can invite on the 29th, like to kind of do a end of the month hustle. Uh -huh. Uh, that's what I was thinking there. And, I would, you know, if we do the one-on-one -on -one weekend, we could do one-on-one -on -one weekend end with one-on-one -on -one at your house on the 29th. Okay. So she's saying a live one-on-one -on -one at my house, for those of you in town, on no, on October 29th. That should be fine. And then uh, the 30, what's the other the one? The 20, well, a one-on-one -on -one Facebook um, over the weekend, you know, a Facebook Live. Facebook Live weekend. on the 20th. We call them Facebook eight. weekends because... We do the live um, on the evening of either a Thursday or a Friday, which we have barred Thursday because that's our soccer practices. So we're, we've been going with um, the 20, you know, Fridays this, this month and next month because of that. So it'll start on the 26th of October, run through the weekend. We'll have through Monday to be able to get in there and comment and, and be active in the class. Okay. So did y'all get that? 10, nine, now what? 1015 business meeting, 1029 101, and 1026 intro online. And savvy 23rd. Okay. And a savvy, yeah, on 1023, sorry. Yeah. I will um, try to um, put the ca a calendar out with these dates on it. Yeah. Now, how do y'all, how's it been going with, with Facebooks, like with um, inviting people? How do you feel about that? Have any it's hit or miss. Huh? It's really hit or miss. I mean, yeah. sometimes I think people are just so overwhelmed with all the invites on Facebook that they go, oh, I've been invited to something else. And they kind of go on. You almost have to be real specific to, with real specific people. You have to be personal. You probably have to call them yeah. and send them a link because they're not going to just yeah. jump in. So, yeah. yep. I think we've got to be more active about calling prospects or um, if you're meeting someone, getting in touch with them on Facebook and then sending them the link to it or asking if you can put them in the, the group for the class. Right. Because once you put them yeah. in the group where the class is going to be, then they'll see it. Explain to them that that's what's going to happen. That's kind of like the, the, the Facebook activity is secondary to the invite, like the, the invite is meeting somebody at the store and you've had this conversation and like, you know what's coming up? I have this class coming up online. Are you on Facebook? Can we connect there? Um, and, and if we can connect there, then, you know, I can put you into this class if you want to see the information. I mean, that, that has sometimes been a first conversation that I've had with someone. So um, it's a good way to uh, be able to gather people's information so that you can follow up with them as well. So, um, you know, it's, a, you know, so you can let people know that you have this activity where you can um, connect them with the information on the oils that way. 
or you know send somebody a uh, a text message that says this is coming up you know we've been talking about the oils i was telling you this could work for that you could hear more about it at this class would you like to come so okay i think we've covered everything um denise monica susan um we can talk for just a few minutes about rally um I th the other thing we care talked about at the beginning we just went over talking about doing an er incentive on the live oily page and i'm gonna reiterate that um that we're working on coming up with an er incentive from october to december for the entire group and educating in our group in live oily and then um where I'm going to set up a calendar for education where we all kind of rotate during the month educating in Live Oily. I think that's all I missed okay. at the very beginning because we forgot to start recording. Yeah. And, and plus, I guess, I mean, I think we said it, but just to make sure that we did, anybody that's far away, like Carissa or Carrie, y'all, anybody, any of the class, Gabby or 101, and every one of them that are live here at Christie's, we can um, Zoom like we're doing right now and somebody can come to um, a meeting. So don't put off talking to somebody who's in Arizona or wherever you know somebody because you can connect them to our live class at any time. Yeah, I can always do Zoom. I pay for a subscription for that. So feel free to message me and say, hey, I've got somebody who wants to Zoom and do your, your 101 that you're doing on the 29th. It may not be the intro one that we're doing on Facebook, but they want to Zoom. They're willing to Zoom and I'll teach it um on the zoom with people here just like i do the now what i can do the savvies that way so most of the classes i teach live i can do them on zoom because i pay for that subscription so um, the savvy worked out beautifully doing that was, yeah that's the first time we did it did your mom say anything susan about her thoughts on that susan did she do it she did she came on live when i did that on the zoom oh i didn't realize I didn't know. I didn't know. She, no, she's not mentioned it to me. Yeah. Um, I'll have to ask her. No, I don't think so. Yeah, she was on there. She was kind of no, in and out, not. but she did it with us. Um, okay. So, but the, I think that worked well because I could share the screen. So feel free, Carissa, Carrie, others who come on the recording to reach out to me and say, I have somebody who wants to do the live via Zoom and I will share, I will do this, do it live. Okay. So, um all right so i'm gonna stop the recording and sign off and carrie and carissa y'all don't have to stay on any longer i was just going to talk with susan monica and denise for a few minutes about rally here locally um and y'all have a great time <laughs> and we did talk about that at the beginning for those of you who come on the recording if you're not local you can look up an online rally tina always posts in the co-op everything that's shared at a rally that was the other thing i didn't get recorded um and then we're working on doing a local rally and we'll put out the information to all the local people as soon as we get the information up so okay. all right good to meet, Marissa. Good to good meet everybody Face to face. See you. Bye. Okay. Nice to you, Marissa. Nuisance season Susan, hang on.